Okay, so first of all, I have to say again, I'm sorry about the lack of uploads and just the lack of communication between us, but it's kind of a yearly tradition now that I usually take a month or two break from YouTube. But this time though, I'm dealing with a lot of really personal issues in my life that I really need to fix in order to be happy. I'll go into that stuff and how it affects the YouTube channel in another video, but of course, I'm not gonna be too specific in the video just because, well, it's really personal to me. But with all of that serious stuff out of the way, this video is unfortunately a re-upload because I had to take the original video down due to copyright reasons, but hopefully now that it's fixed and Generation 8 hype is starting to build up again, I thought it would be fine to bring this video back to light. So without further ado, these again are the top 5 new Pokemon that I would personally love to see come around in Generation 8. For this list, I've rated these Pokemon based on design, but I will also go into detail on possible stats and moves for the Pokemon. Speaking of which, I again do not own any of these awesome Fakemon designs. All the creators will be credited in the description as well as in the video. If you guys enjoy the video, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, and share this video with a friend. And with that being said, let's get started. Now when it comes to animals being in Pokemon games, one that I think isn't the most uncommon to find is a bear based Pokemon. I mean, for the last three generations alone, we've had one bear for each region. That being said, these amazing designs made by Smiley still in my opinion manages to make a pretty overused design base seem fresh and new. Flambear is adorable and perfect for a pre-evolution, but its evolved form Brugburn is what really sells it for me. It's based on a bear rug and rug burn, which in itself is already interesting, but what really gets me is its typing fire and ghost. Fire plays on the whole rug burn thing, but its ghost typing refers to how the bear was once alive and was subsequently killed and turned into a rug. Smiley even has a cool Pokedex entry he made talking about it. Moving on to stats, Smiley has this Pokemon as a very strong physical and special attacker with relatively good defenses. And to balance out those powerful stats, he's also lowered its speed to 55, which I personally agree with. As for moves, I'd love to see Brugburn gain access to Shadow Sneak, Bulk Up, Shadow Claw, Flare Blitz, Flamethrower, and Will-O-Wisp. I think its tanky wall-breaking capabilities combined with a good priority move could make this Pokemon very powerful in the metagame. Plus, Flambear's adorable, I want it. Route 1 bird Pokemon have been a staple in the Pokemon franchise since the very first games back in 1996. Some have been very powerful, while others... not so much. But it is a tradition to always include one of these bad boys in the Pokemon games, and to continue it, I would love to see this design made by Smiley in Generation 8. Impar, as he likes to call it, looks absolutely perfect for a starting bird Pokemon. It's got a small and cute starting stage, a cool and simple middle stage, and a completely badass final stage. I think my favorite thing about this Pokemon has to be the design done on its head. It reminds me a lot of a Japanese Shogun helmet which just looks very menacing and intimidating. And if you guys are avid bird watchers like myself, then you should definitely be able to tell that Imparer is based on a Partalote, which is native to Australia. And not only does this Pokemon look cool, but type-wise it's got an amazingly strong dual typing in Electric and Flying. If you want to know why I think it's so strong, I have another video coming out tomorrow explaining why, so just stay tuned. Or if you're watching this after the 21st, you can just click on the top right corner. Moving on, stat-wise, Smiley has Imparer as a strong special attacker with pretty good to average stats all around. As for a moveset, having moves like Thunderbolt, Volt Switch, Air Slash, Hurricane, and Roost would be highly beneficial for this Pokemon. All in all, I think Imparer would be a much welcome addition to the Pokemon family, and I would definitely have one on my team.
Pokemon fan games over the years have really developed some amazing fake Mon designs that sometimes even look better than the actual Pokemon. There's Pokemon Uranium, Ethereal Gates, Insurgents, but I think the most ambitious and interesting fan game in terms of designs has to be Pokemon Sage. I mean, come on. Just look at their starters, all three of them are amazingly well done. So it's no surprise that when I was looking for possible Pokemon for Generation 8, I would come across something absolutely badass from this fan game. And this evolutionary line, found of course in the Pokemon Sage fan game, is fantastic. Coltergeist and Phantasmare, as they're called, are both based on the Puka of Celtic folklore. These things are essentially ghost shapeshifters that take on the form of humans, cats, dogs, goats, and yes, horses. But there is a lot more to it than just that, so I encourage you guys to read into it, it's really interesting. And with all of that backstory in mind, it's no surprise that this line is purely a ghost typing. As for stats, I would love to see this Pokemon have a strong special attack to make best use of those ghost type moves, and good speed and defenses, but have its special defense be slightly higher. Move wise, I think the most important ones for Phantasmare to have are Calm Mind, Shadow, Battle Ball, Will-O-Wisp, and maybe Moonblast for coverage. Phantasmare is an amazingly well done fake mon, and I would love to see one pop up in Generation 8. Now I am a big believer in the fact that you can literally turn anything into a Pokemon and make it interesting. Just look at Chandelure, Clef Key, and Palosand. All of them managed to turn boring random things into amazingly well done Pokemon. And coming in at number 2, we have yet another Pokemon to add to this list because this design made by Smiley manages to turn a grass stalk and dew into the most adorable things ever. Just look at this little guy, he's so freaking cute. Sure, these designs don't necessarily have an amazing origin behind it, but not everything has to be so complex all the time. Things can be simple and still be good. And not only is Kiyogami amazing design-wise, but I want this thing to be great in battle too. So let's do it. First, it's typing. I think it's no question that it gets the grass typing, but I would also love to see it gain the water typing as well, since it is based on dew and later on rain. Stat-wise, Kiyogame looks to me like a very bulky Pokemon, so I can see it having strong physical and special defense with great HP as well. And to maximize its use, let's also give it a passable special attack just so that we don't go overboard. And finally, for moves, I would love for for it to have access to Giga Drain, Scald, Ice Beam, Surf, and maybe even Toxic Spikes. Add all of this up together and I think you've got yourself a very strong Pokemon. And finally, my number one fake mon that I personally want to see become a Pokemon in Generation 8 has to be this insanely cute evolutionary line made by Komano. I really have no other reason to put this thing on the list other than the fact that this thing is the cutest thing I have ever seen. But I do have to say that my absolute favorite of the three designs has to be the middle stage Pokemon Kepi Ringu. So if this Pokemon was in Generation 8, I would probably have to pass on the final stage evolution. Not because I think this thing looks bad because it doesn't, I just really really love Kepi Ringu. But this wasn't just simply designed to look cute, there is a base to it. Pirangun is based on pilling which is the small balls of fluff that appear on your clothes. It's also based on plankton and I think an Asian makeup brand called Kessalon Patharin but I'm not sure about that one. I do see the resemblance to a powder puff though so that that could be the case. As for typing, I think a perfect one that would match this Pokemon well has to be the dual typing of Fairy and Psychic. With a pairing like that, there's definitely room to pack a serious punch. I will admit though, Pirangoon does not look like the greatest battler in the world, so I'll have the stats reflect that. I think having base 100 special defense, 85 physical defense, and 85 special attack as its best stats does a pretty good job of that. It's not too weak to the point where it's useless, but it also isn't considered amazing either. As for moves, Moonblast, Psyshock, Psychic, Calm Mind, and Dazzling Gleam are 
are a must have for this Pokemon. Like I said before, I don't really want to see this Pokemon in the next games because of its ability in battle, but more so the fact that design wise, it's one of the most adorable things ever. I freaking love it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like and let me know in the comments section below. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel and become an Aribro today. I'm actually thinking about making some more Generation 8 videos because this was just very fun to make, so let me know if you want to see that in the comment section. If you want to check out the previous video I did, be sure to click the annotation on the left. And if you want to see some more Generation 8 videos, click the other annotation on the right. And with that being said, I will see you guys next time.